Thank you, baby. MLG, go instinct. All right, we're back as the crowd is definitely into it. We got a lot going on. A lot of excitement here. Great match already straight ripping over top of instinct. one nothing as we get ready for game two here in the winner's bracket round two. So here we go, Farouk. It's time for game crew. Game two. Yeah, Las game Vegas, crew. let me hear some noise. We're going to Team Slayer on the pit. That's right, we're staying on the pit. More sniping, more rocketing, more overshields, and it's going to be all about the control, control of positioning on this one. Straight ripping up 1-0. It's going to be up to Instinct here to tie it up 1-1. One one. We're going to jump on board with the captain of Instinct. It's Walshy. So this opening strategy is so important. Walshy getting shut down. Two members of Instinct actually getting shut down. Meanwhile, it looks like Roy is going to be able to get the rocket. But it'll be interesting to see who gets the overshield. And it looks like, once again, it's going to be legit from Straight Ripping. Let's jump on board with him. You know, it's crazy, but this is Straight Ripping's second worst game type of anything that we've played on the circuit this year. But even though I say that, they still have a winning record on it. They're 5-4 and four all time this game type. Last time we saw them play it, if you'll remember, it was a very disappointing loss to Triggers down 50-47. to 47. Yeah, but we did see some of the best sniping of the year coming out of Snipe Down in that game. We're going to see if he can do that once again. Right now we're checking out though as Legit has a sniper rifle finally going to be taken down at the Instinct base by Lunchbox and Snipe Down, he's got that sniper rifle. Oh! And he's really sick with that sniper <laughs> rifle. I was watching him in that last game and he was just using the sniper. He, he got it just didn't get a clean shot. He went straight to the BR afterwards. He was amazing. And you know, for you guys actually talking to Snipe Down up here in the booth earlier while we were watching some of the winner's bracket round one matches and I asked him, I was like, who has the best battle rifle? And he, he told me, you know, Roy's up there, Hysteria's up there, I got your pistolas up in his top three. And then I asked, well, how is your battle rifle? He says, it's okay, but I'd rather just use the sniper rifle. That's my primary focus. And he, you see, he's absolutely loving it right now, putting big shots there on Roy. t squared going to be able to clean it up. Oh. And now using plasma grenades, taking down Soviet. So T-Squared trying to stay alive on the sword bridge. He's the distraction. Snipe down trying to do big things. We got Ace's sleeve in the corner. And Snipe oh. down picking up kills once again with that sniper rifle. Here we go. And he killing is now spree. on a killing spree after another big shot on Lunchbox. So Snipe down finally going to be taken down. But it is going to be 16 to 11. A hot start here for Stray Ripping. Yeah, definitely what they need to do right there. You know, get out to a good start. You saw them at one point. Both sniper rifles, that's not a good sign for instinct. You know, it's, it's obviously, this game is still at that, that early stages. I always say it, you always tell me about it, how, you know, oh, I like this play. Waiting for his shields to come back, he gets the full OS. So smart. Smart kid right there, that snake down, I tell you. <laughs> now, <laughs> the thing that I'm going to see right here is, he's going to be regressive here. Watch this, he's got two players, he may not have much overshield left, but he doesn't care because it's all about the kills, baby! <laughs> Oh, oh man, and nice job by Instinct there. You gotta give big props to the whole Instinct squad. They're shutting down Snipe Down. He's coming off the respawn back out of his base. But you know what? I want to go to Snipe Down's teammates here. We got Legit with the sniper rifle, and here we go. Ace is getting pumped up. Legit's got the sniper. All of Instinct's gonna try and charge in, and Legit's in a great position to pick him up, but no, Roy across the map catches Legit with a headshot, and now, oh! that should not have happened if you ask me. I think Roy deserved that kill. Two shots and a beat down, should've picked up the kill. We're jumping on board with Roy's captain, Walshy, who's got the rockets, and now Walshy's oh. gonna try and escape as Snipe Down's gonna hit him with a grenade, but a nice job by Lunchbox to grab those rockets. It's just a three kill game, Bucket. This one's still tight. If you go either way. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed because at the beginning it didn't look like Instinct was going to be able to hang with straight, but they've definitely rebounded nicely. They've got the Rockets right here. They're taking their time. we have seen it slow down a little bit. What I'm loving right now is we got Lunchbox, one of the twins. He's got the Rockets, and then his twin brother, Roy, just picked up a kill. He's controlling the sniper rifle, so nice power weapon control out of the twins. As you said, in your keys to success, it's going to be up to the twins to control the game. You know what? I, I, we've said it a lot. These guys, what I love about the way that Lunchbox and Roy play is that they're always aware of each other. You very rarely see them on the same side of the map together. They like to space out because they, they, you know, they can communicate. They can, they can uh, lay down fire for their teammates. I mean, they don't sit next to each other because they, you know, they do more damage at, at being spread out. And letting Walshy and letting Soviet 
sit there and be able to screen look is, is more important than being right next to each other because they already know what they're going to do. They play the game so much together. They're so familiar with each other. All right, well, we're jumping back on board with Roy. He's got the sniper rifle still, and he just did some damage to the overshielded player. So that overshield not going to be any good for straight rip, and it looks like they are going to wait and get a power weapon, and now it looks like Snipe Down has found a sniper rifle with three bullets. He's on the opposite side of the map as Roy. It'll be interesting to see if they even see each other. And now Walsh is going to call out that the sniper is in position. Roy trying to get an angle. T-squared is going to clean up a kill on Soviet to bring the score 29 to 24. And Roy just unable to get a clean shot here on Snipe Down. He's only got two bolts to work with. And he's trying to make them count. Yeah, but you know what, I think I, I got a question that now that he's moving, I like this because if you're just sitting back there, you're not able to do some damage, it's just a matter of time until somebody flanks you. By moving, he's able to hit that shot. Didn't get the kill, but still, he forced the snipe down back. All right, so snipe down. He's got one bullet left. He missed it, and Roy makes some pay. And Roy still with one shot left. He's going to call out that Elmite Warrior trying to sneak through this oh. dark hall, and now he's going to clean up the kill, 32 to 26. Instinct's trying to stay in this match. Pretty fortunate right there. He looked away just as Elon might pop back out. But luckily for him, he was able to connect with that shot. All right, and did you see that sneaky oh. look there, Sundance? Roy going up the lift. Didn't bounce up in the air like you normally see players do. Instead, he hit that crouch and got a nice little bounce, a short hop. And then he cleans up with a headshot killing spree. And there he hits oh. Snipe down once. I thought he was going to pick up the kill. Instead, it looks like he's going to wait for his team captain to clean it up. We're going to jump on board with T-Squared. Oh, he is just going to be taken down. So T-Squared losing the sniper rifle. But check that out. I just saw the scoreboard on T-Squared's screen. Out of the 35 kills, Snipe Down's got 14 of them for straight ripping. I think maybe he brought his A game today. Runway, right now. Three guys down by the west. Runway, one shot at OS, one shot at OS. They got full, they got full. He's stuck, oh my god. Oh, watch right next to another one on the bridge, another one's still there. One shot there, Koyan. Watch, the watch our camo, watch our camo. Watch our camo. Watch our camo. Watch our Watch our green, our green. He's our green. Watch our, our pit. Our pit, our pit. Watch box, our pit. Where is he? Where's he going? He's our mosh pit. Our BR, our BR. Our BR. Our BR. Our Wow, that's so stupid. Our shot, our shot, our shot, our shot. In sword, in sword. I'm coming there. On bridge. On bridge, kill me. Our training, our training, Walsh. Rock it, rock it, green. Half shields, he's trying to reload. Roy is in green. He's in green. Don't even bother. Don't even bother, Tom. He's in green. He's in rockets. 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 All right, he's in rockets. That's what I meant. Bridge, bridge. Watch Roy with rockets still. Roy, he's going to be in rockets somewhere. He's going to be in other camo. Watch, is someone in needles? Why is it top? All right, Someone watch the record here? Yeah. In green. I'm gonna make a push run. Eric, sure. watch out for rockets. Just don't even pop out. I know he's waiting there. I'm gonna go run away. I'm going run away. So I'm, I'm going up and down. I don't know. I don't know. Man. They're, gonna be, they're, waiting for a, they're waiting for us to flank. Our yeah. Yeah. They're training. They're, they're training. training. Let's And then they're sword. They're sword. They're out with rocks. Come back. Come back. Our side sword. Our side sword. I need help. I need help. Kyle, they're gonna fight. I got rocket. I got rocket in green. Our street. Our street. One shot. Our street. One shot. Our street. Our street. They were our street. Our street. One shot. One shot. Our street. One shot. Our green. Our green. I'm we, gotta green. we gotta kill our green. He's in green. He's running away. I think he's out of rockets. They're going. Yeah, they're straight. They're straight. I think. No, they're runway. They're, they're runway. They're runway. They're runway now. I'll watch camera. I'll watch camera, Brian. Yeah. I don't see a runway. Sniping their sword. Sniping their sword. Going our sword right now. Going our sword with sniper. Soviet. I got other. Our sniper. 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 Our And check it out, Sundance. Straight Rippin tried to make a big push, but Instinct was waiting for it. They knew exactly what Straight Rippin was looking to do. They shut it down, and then a big no scope from Soviet kind of lit the fire underneath Instinct. And now Soviet's going to have that sniper rifle still. It's all tied up 46 to 46. He's got an overshield and a power weapon to work with. And there he makes it go to use on T squared. As his teammates picking up another kill. So 48 47. Roy picks up a big double going for the triple kill. And there he's got it. Roy wins the game for Instinct. It's all tied up. 21 or what the one? 21 kills from Roy that game, Sundance. Wow, great Roy finish right there. Going off, 
21 kills, only 9 deaths, a positive 12 in a Team Slayer game. Instinct squeaking by over straight ripping. Wow, that was impressive. Now, that was a crazy finish. You saw that press by straight ripping, trying to get through there, but Instinct knew exactly what was coming, and they were able to fend it off. And we are all tied up here live in Las Vegas, one-to-one -one between straight ripping and Instinct. More when we return.